Hey, what's happening? Just get a few more people up in here. I'm gonna start this conversation. Oh, snap. There they go. Hey, hey. Here they come. They rolling in. Hey, I'm excited about this conversation, man. I actually got to start this song over again because it's a part of the conversation. So, what I want to talk about, first of all, I want to give a shout out to my sister Kayla Jimenez for the conversation that we had earlier. And she had to calm her brother down. You know, she, she know how to calm her brother down uh, just as well as I know how to calm her down and help her out. But um, I want to apologize to my family and even my friends, the ones that, uh, you know, I was hurt behind because I wanted y'all to be there for me in a different way. So I want to apologize to y'all and say, you know, I know y'all couldn't be there when I graduated uh, in leadership, uh, Integrity Leadership Institute uh, as a minister. But, uh, you know, I won't bring it up anymore. You know, y'all won't hear nothing else from me about it at the end of the day. So, you know, I love y'all. And again, I apologize. This is public apology for those that actually follow me. It's a public apology. <clears throat> Let's start this off. Learning to say no and also having confidence in yourself confidence in yourself is all that you need to go forward you got you know we always talk about dreams goals and ambitions whatever it is if you got that within you go with it that's all you need is confidence you need your confidence you need your dream that's all you need you don't need nobody else to push you in the direction that you need to go you don't need family. You don't need friends to push you. That is good. It's good to have. But you don't really need them. All you need is your own mindset, your own drive. For me as a father, you know, a full-time father, my drive is my kids. That's my that's my why, you know. My, and not just my kids, but other kids that I see out here in the world. Uh, it's just, it's, it's effective for me. It's always been something that I want to do. It's always been a dream of mine to help other people, especially these kids. Uh, and I got the confidence to do it. You know, I'm going to school right now for barbering, getting back in school. Uh, as far as a mentor, I'm doing classes with that, with, uh, with, with um, drug abusers, drug users, alcoholics, you know, whatever it is. I do classes with them every Monday, so... Every time I go there, I get, you know, check off on the list, and that's helping me with my mentor program, so I'm getting out there, I'm getting the certificates and everything so I can do all of these things. That's the confidence that I have in me, that's the dream that I have, and that's what I'm going to keep on pushing to. With that being said, hey, I'm going to have to move on away from some people. Family, I love y'all, but I got to move. I got to start moving for me and moving for mine. I do. I love y'all. I love y'all dearly. And I will always be there to help y'all, but I got to first help myself. And that's the message to everybody else, too. If you got family and friends and, you know, they can't help you or they don't believe in you, whatever it is, all you need is a goal. That goal is going to set you up for life. That goal is going to be what pushes you. Find out what your why is and learn to tell people no. Learn to tell people no. If, if, if they can't do for you what you do for them, Tell them no. And that's in relationships too. When you first get to meet somebody and they want you to come after them or whatever it is, you know, they want you to chill with them and, and they can't come chill with you, tell them no. <laughs> no. I ain't nobody's secret. This ain't escape. You know, we ain't, we ain't nobody's little secrets up in here. We supposed to be exclusive. So learn to tell people no. No is the best thing going on. Y'all was talking about a resolution for 2020. All right, here's one for you. Learn to say no. When somebody want to give you something, drugs, alcohol, whatever it is, and you don't want to do it, say no. But peer pressure, peer pressure is nothing. If you want to say no, say no. If you don't want to go out to no club, say no. If you don't want to hang with the wrong crowd, say no. When you at school and you feel like somebody, you know, doing something wrong and, and they want to lead you to that, you tell them no. And in some cases, you say hell no. <laughs> but I'm just saying. You can say no. You don't have to say yes to everything. And that's also with, with family and friends. You know, if they want you to do something all the time, you just this. No, I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. I got other things I got to do. No. <laughs> and it's just like that. It, 
if it hurt their feelings, oh well. You know what I'm saying? Push on. They got to understand what you're doing and what you're doing too. You got stuff you got to handle too, just like everybody else. That's not more important for them, but it's more important for you. You more important. So learn to say no. You're right, LaShawn. Me, thank you for putting that on there. On the screen, anybody that's watching, type no. Learn to say no. Let's start that right now. Start saying no. <laughs> you know, uh, just keep on doing it, man. You know, like Mike talked about on this song, you know, you got to take a look at you. Take a look at you in the mirror. Take a look at the man in the mirror. And understand that the change comes from within. It don't come from everybody else. It don't come from other people. It comes from within. If you really want change, you got to first change yourself. You got to make that change within yourself. As Mike said, you know, you got to, you got to change. And I'm gonna change some things. I'm gonna change some things in my life. I'm gonna change some things in my kids' lives. I'm gonna change a lot of things in a lot of people's lives. But all you gotta do is call on me, use my services. You know, brother ain't got no job. I ain't had a job since October of 2018, y'all. Okay, October of 2018, I lost my job. You know, I got laid off. And ever since then, I just been on a hustle. I've been on a grind. I've been on some, some whole other stuff, and I ain't trying to sell no drugs. I ain't doing that. I sell myself. I'm a mobile service. I'm customer service. Shoot, I'm knowledge. <laughs> and I'm going to drop the knowledge on you. I, I, I do whatever I can, you know. If you ask me a question, I'll answer it for you. You know, biblically, whatever it is, you know, I got them answers too. <laughs> but we got to help each other. And all you got to do for my services is all you got to do is have transportation. I'm going to make sure you're wealthy because if you can provide a service to somebody, if you can help somebody out, I'm going to tell you right now. You get to keep all of the profit except for $5. What service does that? Huh? What service does that? So if you if you can do hair, you can braid somebody hair, you can do whatever it is, and I got some clients for you, I'm going to send you clients and for each client, I get $5, and you get to keep the profit. You can put your own prices on it, what you want to do, okay? And that's up to them if they want to pay it. But all I'm asking for is $5. I'm not asking for a lot. I ask for $5. But wait wait, wait until I get my app out there. You know what I'm saying? Wait till I get my app out there. Ain't going to be no more, oh, uh, 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 cousin or whatever, your prices is too high. Hey, well, why don't you call Uber and Lyft and see if they'll sit outside and wait on you hand and foot. Wait for you to show up. I'm just saying, man, change has got to come. Like Sam Cook said, <laughs> a change gonna come. And I ain't playing. A change is gonna come. So I'm moving away. Uh, uh, I should be moving uh, here pretty soon. I got some things that's going on. I got some things that's happening. <clears throat> and everybody's not gonna know where I stay at. You're not gonna know where I stay at. Those that need to know where I stay at, they'll, they'll be able to know where I stay at. Other than that, you can't just pop up at my crib. You can't just, no, I'm sorry, no. It's not happening. But when I get that move, when everything starts happening, I tell you, they're going to wish they would have listened. They're going to wish they would have listened. Hey, you're right. I got removed from that job so I could pursue what I needed to do, and that's why I've been telling my family. And I'm going to give y'all a testament on me. Like, many years ago, when I was about 18, 19 years old, um... I wanted a relationship so bad that I would do anything for it. I wanted to be a father so bad that I would do anything for it. So I started taking care of people. I started taking care of people and I started hustling at work, you know, to make ends meet. But I started stealing. Like, I was stealing when I worked for DHL. I was stealing, you know, uh, laptops, computers, and cell phones. I was basically a plug around Oklahoma City for electronics. Then they caught up to me. You know, they turned the cameras on me. I'm just being honest with y'all. And... Uh, they asked me to snitch on the other people that were doing it with me, and I wouldn't snitch on them. So they were like, well, you know, you're a good kid. We see you got a lot of drive to you. So you're going to have to return everything that you took, at least half of it, and also the finances. So I called up everybody, and I got the money for it. So I went and paid them, but I had money from another job that I had. Cause I was working two jobs, and I, uh, I got the money. I got the laptops, the computers, and cell phones that I could. And I took it back to him. And I gave him the money also. And they were like, okay, well, Lamel, let me tell you like this. You cannot work in no postal service at all. You can't do no delivery service at all. Like, and back then, it was just FedEx, 
UPS and DHL, you know, it wasn't no Amazon, <laughs> but still, and then even after that, years later, I got in another relationship, and I loved her so much that I started, you know, when I got out of jail, I ain't had nothing, my place was closed down, and, you know, I was taking a bath, the showers in the dark, uh, you know, electricity, everything was just off, my car got repossessed, and I just said, you know, I started uh, grinding at work. I really, uh, when I was at Benny Keith, you know, they was calling me Preach and everything, but uh, Preach was up in there uh, still in time. You know, I was making a lot of money after taxes by still in time, but anyways, I had to learn, you know, that I didn't have to do those things no more, you know, and that's why a lot of these places, I can't even get jobs because my name, it carries weight on the stuff that I used to do, stuff that I used to do in darkness that actually had to come to light. So yeah, I was a thief. I have been a thief since I was a kid. Always stealing something, always wanting something more. And because I didn't have the money to get it, I would do anything to get it. I would steal, you know, I, I hit you up in the middle of the night. I, I was a stick up kid, as like Jenny say, I was a stick up kid, you know, me and, and, and my family members, you know, we all used to do a lot of this dumb stuff. And like I told some of my family, sometimes I feel like, like I'm at fault for my cousins. Um, and the path that they taken because I was the leader in all of that. You know, I was the leader in all of that. And I just want to right my wrongs. You know, I want to help them now because I understand what they're going through just like they understand me. But our mothers didn't know this stuff about us. You know, our mothers was either working or too emotional to listen. But, you know, like I said, you know, that's just a testimony to me. That's a part of the book that I just gave y'all, part of the book that I'm writing. So, that's why, you know, a brother ain't got no job right now, because I did a lot of stuff, and stuff that I'm not proud of, but I'm living through it. I'm not complaining about it, you know, I'm providing the service because I am. I'm a, uh, I'm a great servant, and I'm a customer, a great customer service, I got all of that. So, I'm willing to help, you know, and all you gotta do is just make sure my petrol right. But if I send you clientele, hey. Just give me my fire. That's all I'm asking for. You get to keep the rest of the profit. So if I tell you that I got somebody that, that wants you to cut their hair or do their hair for 125 and I ask for $5 and you get to keep 120 and whatever it is that you charge for gas, you telling me you wouldn't do that? Come on, guys. Hey, it's going to happen. I'm not playing with you. It's already in the making. I had somebody make a flyer for me. You know, I got uh, patting my idea already, and then I just got to get my LLC, and it's on and popping. I got to graduate in barber school, and I got to graduate from uh, my mentor program. And everything is just, it's coming to pass. You know, as a minister, as a, whatever you want to call me, a life coach, whatever it is, you know, because these kids, they call me coach. Then I got... Grown folks that hit me up in the middle of the night. That's friends of mine that they just like, you know, I just need somebody to talk to. I need somebody to vent to. All right, I got you. And I don't charge for that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't, that, to talk to somebody, that's nothing. But if I got to drive to you, you know, I, and you want to talk in person, you know, venting or whatever, you just make sure about the petrol straight. That's all I'm asking. Just make sure my petrol straight. And I drive a big old SUV. I don't drive no little small little car. I drive a luxury vehicle. But. You know, I'm not asking for no handouts. Like, I'm going to bless you just as well as you bless me. You know, blessed in the city, blessed in the fields, I'm blessed in my comers and my goals. But, uh, I just, just want to talk to y'all about that, man. You got any questions, comments, whatever it is. All, everybody that's on here, please follow me on my YouTube channel. I need to get up to a thousand subscribers. It's Knowledge the Raven. Knowledge. D A Raven R A V E N two four six eight, and that's on Yahoo, that's on Instagram, that's on uh, uh, Twitter. It's everywhere, you know. I'm, I'm getting my name out there. So if y'all can help me with that, oh city and no city, let's put on for our city. You know, as they say, I put on for my city, on on for my. City. Let's put on for the city. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all and thank y'all for tuning in and vibing with me, uh, always encouraging me, pushing me, always talking about my kids, how uh, handsome and uh, beautiful they are and how well-mannered they are. I thank y'all and I appreciate y'all for real. Like, it, it means a lot, you know. It means a lot right here, for real. So, with that being said, I'm going to let y'all go. And I'm up here at IHOP. Well, actually, I won't even let y'all go. If y'all want to talk, you know, chop it up, whatever it is. Y'all got some questions, comments, whatever it is. You know, please do put them in the video or... Uh, 
send them to my inbox. We can chop it up anytime. I'm always here. I'm a great listener. Uh, my music playing and everything. This song right here, you know, I got a playlist that I play. This song by Will Smith called Just the Two of Us. Every time I hear this song, I think about my sons, and I always, uh, I sing this to them, and they just start like smiling and laughing at me like, Daddy, you crazy. And I'm like, yeah, man, this song right here, it means a lot to me, you know. It means a lot to me as a father. If I could do this as a career, like be a father and a father to many, or a mentor, a, mentor, a father figure, show other men how to do this, I would definitely do this because I enjoy this, you know. I enjoy it. I'm the doctor, place you in my arms. I do I need death for I let you be harmed. All those questions arose in my mind. And I be man enough against wrong, choose right. And we standing up from the hospital. Y'all yeah, hear this song? It took an hour just to get the car to see it. You want a pancake? I ain't eating, I'm just ready for water, you know. I, 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 I ain't hungry. Even though I should be eating, you know, because I'm trying to gain weight. But I ain't hungry, you know what I'm saying? This right here is what I want to do. Like so I thank y'all for tuning in. You say, come on, like, that ain't no question. That's a, that's a, a statement. And then you put an exclamation point at the end of it. So that definitely means you want, you hungry and you want pancakes. I can cook too. Don't get me wrong. You know, I put that video out there. I mean, not the video that, uh, that post out there the other day. I'll be somebody's butler. I show enough will. I got the transportation. I come clean your house. I come clean your whole crib. I wash the clothes, wash the dishes. I be your whole butler. You know, I make sure you straight. I make sure when you come home, everything straight. Like the clothes is folded, put up in the drawers, and hung up. All of that. I'm not playing. I be a butler. You talk about me all you want to, but I'm gonna make sure your crib straight. I even make sure your car straight. I clean that mud too, cause some of y'all cars don't be up to par. People don't know how to clean their cars, especially these mothers. I ain't talking about y'all, but I'm just saying. I know y'all got them kids in there, you know. Hey. But I clean that mug up. I don't care. You got an elderly uh, uh, grandparent or whatever it is, and they need to get to the store or something. I get them there. They need to be cleaned up. I clean them up. Whatever it is, I clean the house up. I go wash them dishes. I help you out. Just make sure my petrol's straight. That's all I ask. Just make sure my petrol is straight. You gonna get my services? Make sure my petrol's straight. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? How's everybody's evening going? Uh, what y'all got planned? And I ain't talking about for no New Year, because my New Year was already here, you know what I'm saying? My birthday is my New Year. Every day I wake up, it feel like a New Year. It feel like a whole new person every day I wake up. Strawberry A, strawberry lemonade. <laughs> I looked at it say A, but then I saw the lemon. Strawberry lemonade. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Strawberry lemonade is the truth. But I like the uh, the Shirley Temples with the grenadine, with some extra cherries on the side. Mm -hmm. I'll be making them joints too. I need to go get me some candles, man, for my next crib. Cause I like candles. I like the smell of them. I like for my house to smell nice, my crib to smell good. And after that, all you need is a woman. <laughs> the right one, though, you know what I'm saying? The right one. For the fellas that already got them, for the women that already, hey, get you some strawberries, some cherries, get you some whipped cream and some chocolate and all of that and have some fun. Do it for me. Take them out on the date. Open up the door. Some women don't like you to open up the door. They're like, don't open the door for me. Why? Chivalry ain't dead. It just don't exist for some people. You gotta open up that door. Open up that door and, boy, make sure she ain't gotta touch nothing. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Make sure she's secure. Make sure that you are her security blanket. Change the game, man. You ain't got to be no player. You ain't got to be no pimp. You ain't got to be none of that. You don't need all of them women. All you need is one. Now, if your woman is cool with you having a bunch of women, you better be cool with her having a bunch of men. I mean, hey, more power to y'all if y'all want to do that. But for me, nah, I'm good. I just want one. I just want to give the world to one. 
Candlelight. Yeah, candlelit dinners. You right, Tasha? Candlelit dinners. Candlelight around the house. Like, shut all the lights off and just light nothing but candles. Real good smelling candles. And then put you some rose petals from the dough all the way around to the kitchen. Like, make it, make it a little fun game, like a maze for her to find her way to her gift. You could be wrapped up in the bed, you know, whatever you want to do. Look like Tupac in the tub with all that stuff for you. Or you can have some, some things laid out for her, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, baby, I bought you this today. Or, uh, you know, I just thought of you today, so I made this for you. Or you can write out a letter that, or a little note that say, this is for an IOU. You use this whenever you want to. Whenever you're ready to use that IOU, I got you. And, and it don't matter what time of the day it is, what time, it don't matter. I got you. All you got to do is say, it's time for you to use that note or that letter. And just make it fun. Like, you know, men, sometimes these women just want to talk. Put on there, okay, baby, whenever you want to talk, use this right here. And, and, and it could be at any given time. So if you playing the game or you watching the movie, you better pause that game, pause that movie, and listen to it. Because... Sometimes these women, these sisters, man, I'm not sometimes, but all the time, they just asking to be heard. They asking for you to to give them something that they ain't never had before, or that they have but they missing, that they lacking. Women is the way, man. I'm telling you, they the way, like to to everything that you want, everything that you desire. They can give you it all if you just allow them to. You treat them right and secure them. Make sure they yo. Yo, know, that you their security blanket, you make sure they protect it. <laughs> they gonna make sure you guard it. They gonna make sure you have everything in the bedroom, uh, in your house, which she turned into a home, in your kids, who she taking care of. You know, she gonna multiply it all. I'm telling y'all for real. You know, you just gotta, you gotta give it to her. You gotta, you gotta make a change within yourself, man. You know. We was taught, me and my family, uh, we was all taught how to be players. From our uncles, not all of them, but from the men that we were surrounded around, we taught how to be players, how to be drug users, alcoholics, uh, thieves, and uh, uh, abusers. You know, uh, putting your hands on, on women and stuff, and, and that got to stop. I mean, if you're going to put your hand on your woman, put your hand on her in the right way. Put your hand on her where you making her feel secure. Like I said the other day, put uh, the smog of her back or giving her massages, giving her those those touches. My zodiac sign is a Libra. <laughs> but uh, I'm just saying, like, for real, like, you got to do this stuff, man. This is what these women are, are missing out on. These sisters, they, they're missing out on the brothers that actually want to be there for them and want to show them the world and give them the world and not give it to everybody else, but just give it to them. You know, it's the soul ties and everything. That's why a lot of these women out here, y'all call them crazy, the rainers and insane. It's because they got a lot of brothers that didn't, didn't, didn't screw them over, that didn't messed up their head because they fell in love with this brother and they thought this brother was a security blanket that was going to be the right one for them. And it turned out they was nothing but hell. Hell racist. So you gotta be a butterfly. You know what a butterfly is? New life. You got to have a whole new life. You got to be renewed. You got to be changed. If you really want that one, go get her. And go show her how you appreciate it. Forget sex. I mean, when you're with somebody, but when you when you first meet somebody, man, go all out. You know what I'm saying? Like Invite her over to the house in the daytime. It ain't always got to be at night in the daytime. Hey, baby, I cooked something. Uh, you know, I made you something to eat. You want to come get a plate or something? You want, you know, if you're at work, I got you. Or you want me to bring your plate to you? Do that. Do what they do for us. Like, take them a plate if you know how to cook. If you don't know how to cook, hey, you got Google, you got YouTube. Find it out, man. Marinate on your relationship early. You know what I'm saying? Marinate on it like you marinate food. Let it be on a slow cook. Don't be in a rush. Don't be in a rush to have sex all the bag on time. Don't be in a rush to to, to uh, hurry up and, and move somebody in because you don't know that person. You move somebody in if you want to, you be going crazy. 
you be, you be like, man, what the heck did I get myself into? I need to move around. If the relationship is toxic at the beginning and y'all ain't doing nothing to change, step away from each other for a little bit and change yourself. Change your whole outcome. And then rethink if you really want to be in this relationship or if you it's just too toxic. Think about that. You know, because sometimes we force ourselves in a situation, we force ourselves to be with people that we really ain't supposed to be with. Let that person go. Allow them to go be a headache for somebody else or a blessing to somebody else. Because that may not be the person for you. And if somebody leave you while you down, leave you while you down, man, hey, that definitely ain't the one for you. Stop going backwards. Keep looking forward. That's why I tell people all the time about the way I park my car. They're like, why you always back in? The reason I back in because I want my first move to be forward. I don't want to have to be looking behind me, seeing what's behind me. I want to know what's in front of me. If it's a kid or somebody's child or something, a dog or whatever it is in front of me, I want to see that first before I take off. But if I'm backing up, I'm, I'm looking behind me, then I can't see what's in front of me. And that goes the same thing for your relationship. If you too busy looking behind you, you ain't gonna never see what's in front of you. If you too busy worried about the past, and I'm t I'm, that's a testament to myself too. That's why I apologized to my family earlier because I was still dwelling on the past about them not coming to my graduation when I, uh, when I wanted them to be there. You know, I saw everybody around me. They all had family and friends around them. And, you know, the ones that I wanted to be there wasn't. So that's why I said I apologize about that. And I'll never bring that up again. Y'all have my word and y'all know that I'm a man of my word. So y'all never bring that up again. Unless I'm preaching and I'm giving some, some knowledge on something. But I'm just saying, stop looking behind you and look forward. Look towards your goal. Y'all saying 2020 is a year? Okay. Don't worry about what's behind you any longer. Worry about what's in front of you. Don't even worry. Look at what's in front of you. Because worry is not of God. Worry is of the enemy. Or whatever you want to call it. Worry is of your own self. Stop saying it's somebody else. It's you. It's not somebody else. It's you. You got a, a conscience. You were given a conscience. You were given choices. Now the choices you make is going to affect your future. So you better make the best choices because now they cracking down on a lot of stuff. Forget that drug game. Forget the the alcohol, forget all of that stuff. It's mind altering for a reason. That's why they call it wine and spirits. And I ain't just talking about wine. I'm talking about all the alcohol, especially when you consume too much of it. You start taking on other things. You start like going through some things. Put that stuff down. Man, I, I, I mean, I've been talking for a cool minute. Uh, and I can talk. I'm sorry uh, if I didn't ran y'all away. But, you know, I love y'all a lot. And I love what I do, so I'm going to get out of here, you know. Um, look me up on YouTube or hit me up on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. It don't matter. I'll always be there until I'm gone, until the casket drop, you know. Uh, Serena, I wanted to talk to you about a dream that I had, and maybe you can help me um, with it because I've been struggling with it. So I definitely want to talk to you, Serena. Uh, we could talk later on, have a conversation about it. I love y'all. Blessings to y'all. Knowledge.